Hi. So the next topic in our Adobe Form Learning series is creating of the driver program. In the last session, last we will learn how to add the floating fields in the Adobe Form. Three, four elements we will learn till now. Now before learning the other elements, let's first create a small driver program to print the Adobe Form. Till now testing we have done through transition code SFP only. Now to create a driver program, we have to make use of three function modules in the driver program. The first one is FP underscore job underscore open. Second, FP underscore function module underscore name. We have to pass our Adobe form name to this FM and in return, we'll get the generated function module in that client. Same like smart form, Adobe form also get executed to the function module and the function module name is different in each client. That's why first we have to use this function module by passing the Adobe form name. In return, in response, we'll get the function module name. With that, we have to call that FM after this second step. And last, we have to close the form using FP underscore job underscore close. So let's log into SAP system in SC38 and create a program. So this is our form name, which we have to use in our program. So here I'll create the program with SC38. Z equal to form driver program z adobe form underscore driver underscore program okay give the description here adobe form driver program i am saving as a local object And as we know, for our this Adobe form, we have one input field that is sales order number. Here we have one import field that is IP underscore VBLN in the interface. So in our program, on the selection screen, we have to give one field to enter the sales order number. Parameter P underscore VBELN of type VBAK, VBELN, obligatory. And let me set some default value here as one. Okay. The start of selection. End of selection. Perform routine. Call ADF. Double click on this routine. To create a subroutine in the same program. Now first we'll do some data declaration. So our first function model is FP underscore job underscore open. And here we can see one changing structure I underscore output params of this type. If you double click here, we can see all the details, all the field of this structure, like device name, if you're using multiple device like printer, mail, etc., then the required output device we can pass here. No dialog we use in case if you want to exclude that pop-up that I will show in the demo. When we execute the program, we get one pop-up where we can enter the printer number. If you want to exclude that, we can pass here X. Preview, if you want to see the preview, get PDF. If you want to get the output in the PDF string, like this, there are different variables are there. Okay, so initially our target is just to learn how to call a Adobe form. So I will copy this and in this program, I will do some data declaration. So first data declaration is this one. Data i underscore output parameters of same type okay sfp output we can give any other name also 
Now, second functional module after this, we have to call is fp underscore function underscore module underscore name. Here in the input, we have to pass our form name. That is this zk adf01 that we have to pass as an input to this function module. And in return, in exporting parameter, in this parameter, we will get a function module name. Okay, function name. So we have to declare two variables from this fm i underscore form name. Let me add in the program i underscore form name. Okay, and value we can pass here or form name we can pass as a default value to add field. Fine. And in, re in exporting parameter, we are going to get this function model number, function model name. Okay, so I will copy this one also because I want to read that in the exporting parameter. Fine. And here in this We'll get one more, I think, changing our tables. Okay, nothing here, fine. Okay, no tables, nothing is there. Fine. Now, see, after getting the function module name here, we have to call the FM. Okay, so initially, how to get the FM number, FM number uh, name? We can execute this ADF in the SAP transaction code and here we can see this function model. And as we know, by default, by default, okay, let's go to the interface of this ADF. Here, by default, we can see one importing parameter structure and the exporting structure. This is the importing structure to the smart form, and this is the exporting structure. Fine. So this also will define in our program. Okay, this also we can use in our program. This is the importing structure to the program. And second one is the exporting. Go to export here and copy this also. If you're doing first time, then we have to do like this. Once we know the concept, second time we can save this as a standard data structure and you can use. Click on pretty printer. Fine. So our data declaration is done. Now let's write the logic. Okay. So here first I have to call the first FM FP underscore job open. Always open all the exceptions. And here I will pass the importing structure i underscore output params. After this, I will call the second function module that is fp underscore function module name. And here importing, I will pass the function module name that is i underscore name. And here I have assigned the value of my function model of, of my Adobe form. And in response, in this field, we'll get the function model name. Okay. Now after this, we have to call the function model here. So how to first get the function model name? Just execute this. Execute this FM in transition code FF, FF, uh, SFP, copy this function model, go back to driver program, click on pattern, function model, name, enter. Now based on our importing parameter, we can see the IP underscore VBLN here. Let me first open the exceptions. 
and all I will pass here. Okay, this is like we can change the name here. Better uh, okay. Let's keep as as it is as of now. I'm not changing. I'm just keeping as it is. And here we pass the sales order number from the selection screen. In case if you have multiple importing parameter or table, that all we have to pass through driver program. I not change the name here. The same field I'm passing here. Save check no error activate and now first time we have to call using this name after that we have to replace that using this variable name because this function model will not be available in the next client different client but this will give our the this function model will give the exact fm name which is generated in the each client that's why we have to replace this hard code function model name with this variable and after this the job close okay I am here opening uncommitting only exceptions save check and activate go to utilities go to text element selection text sales document activate go back and execute I am passing sales order number as 1 now this is a dollar box which we can avoid by passing on parameter again I will press F8 again I forgot to remove the breakpoint let me remove the breakpoint after this see here we can see our output this is the our first output of our Adobe form. So we are able to call this Adobe form through driver program. Now let me first drill the breakpoint in the interface. In the code initialization, I written one hardcore breakpoint that I have to remove. Fine. So now I will remove the breakpoint. Now let me again execute the FM, execute this driver program, sales document number one, execute. See the output. Fine. From here we can save wherever we required. Fine. We can save the PDF file. Let me save this. ADF01. Fine. Like this, we are able to see the ADF output. Now, what I want, I want to, <coughs> I want to comment that dialog. I don't want that dialog box to be appear. So, for that, what we can do in this changing structure, there is one field called no dialog. See this no dialog. You have to mark this as X. Okay, and we have to mark if you want to see the preview, you have to mark that preview equal to X. Fine, so no dialog and preview equal to X. And I will also set one breakpoint here just to check the details of this ex exporting parameter because when we call the FM, import become export and export become import. Okay, this is actually the exporting parameter of the Adobe form. So we'll check what we are getting in this. Execute. See now. Why again breakpoint? Yeah. See here we can see. See here we can see the X string that is binary content of that. PDF output. In case suppose if you want to trigger the email, okay, and if you have to do any attachment, then what we do in the smart form, we convert to OTF. Using OTF, we convert to binary content. So in the Adobe form, that directly we can get from here in the field PDF. Fine. Let me execute this. 
see the output. <coughs> okay, so in case if you required for email application or attachment, we can make use of PDF field of this variable. So in this way, we will learn how to create a driver program for the Adobe form. Thank you.